Um, I had a really good childhood. Played a bunch of sports. My dad coached me at uh, every sport I played in the league, so he's always there. So was, I mean, yeah, he was hard on me because you know he's my dad. He was an athlete. He knows what it takes, you know. But it built my uh, my ability to work hard, and you know, just knowing that I got to push myself. So it was good. I was extremely competitive. I think. Uh, my uh, my dad and our coaches are always, you know, just, you know, you got to do your best and whatever that is, you know. But uh, for me, uh, it crushed me. I think I cried every time I lost a sporting event as a kid. My first individual sport was wrestling. I started uh, wrestling when I was 12 years old. We didn't have Little League Wrestling uh, when I was a kid where I lived. Uh, so I played football and baseball and basketball until uh, I was 12 and started wrestling. But it was great, you know, I, I really liked football more than anything else because it was the hardest sport I played. It was, you know, a lot harder. I love baseball, but football's harder. So it was my main thing that I loved to do. And then uh, when I started, after my first day of wrestling practice, I realized wrestling's harder than football, and that's when I kind of fell in love with wrestling. I'd say it definitely changed me, you know. Uh, I, I don't know uh, exactly how to say, you know, it makes you realize. Uh, Dan Gable's got the perfect quote. He said, once you've wrestled, everything else in life is easy, you know. And um, I can definitely say in college, there are wrestling practices that I went through that thought, if I can survive this, nothing I ever do will be hard. My college roommate, my freshman year in college, from uh, Huntington Beach, California, we wrestled together. And uh, he was always talking about Tito Ortiz. And I don't know who that is. And he would get so mad that I didn't know who it was. So he was like, all right. He made me watch, uh, download some videos. That was back before you could just go to YouTube and watch stuff. You had to download it. And uh, so. Uh, we downloaded a couple of videos and watched it, and I thought, man, that's that's pretty cool. I think I can do that, you know? And uh, so that kind of got me into it. When you're wrestling, you wrestle. It's not like other sports where you really take breaks. You know, you wrestle year-round. And uh, so since I was, you know, really my freshman year of high school, I really haven't had a break from wrestling. And uh, to see something that was similar but different, mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty interesting, you know? It was something where I can still use my wrestling but add to it and do different things. And I thought, man, that's really need I really you know like to do that and not that I want to go out there and beat somebody up or hurt somebody but it just looked uh, looked intriguing to me I was between my junior and senior year of college I was in a gym working out and uh, these guys were talking about MMA and I just kind of started talking to them and they were like oh we do jiu-jitsu and because uh, I'd look for a place to do jiu-jitsu couldn't find anywhere and so they told me where so the next day I showed up started doing jiu-jitsu and uh, Took me a while to find somewhere to start doing stand-up. I was planning on going to law school. I worked for a few law firms over summers and realized that I didn't really like that. So uh, I realized I needed to do something else. I started uh, started going to get my MBA after I graduated and started fighting and then got into the UFC and uh, kind of just went from there. You know? When I graduated, I went back home to Alabama and uh, a guy that I'd met training, he was a pro fighter and uh, he had a, a fight coming up and the a uh, promoter had come to visit him at practice one night, and I was in there, and I was taking him down, and, you know, mounting him and holding him down and everything, and the promoter walked over to me and said, uh, do you want to fight? And I said, uh, oh, yeah, I do. And so uh, he put me on the card. I'd been training for about three months, four months maybe, and um, then uh, they actually set me up for trying to make me lose, gave me a yeah. guy they lied to me about his record, but, you know, that happens everywhere. Nothing about it is me wanting to go hurt somebody. I'm, I'm uh, in a sport, you know. So like when you watch a football game, uh, you don't think, oh man, those guys are terrible people, you know. Um, same thing when I fight, it's just like that. Uh, well, I hope first of all to say that I'm a Christian and a good husband. Um, I, uh, I don't know, me and my wife like to go fishing and go in the outdoors a lot. I grew up hunting and fishing every weekend with my dad. Um, so that's, uh, you know, I do that a lot. Uh, try to make sure, uh, you know, we're in church every Sunday and then we live it through the week. You know, you know if you want to say what a man is, uh, this probably sounds corny because people probably say this a lot, but I think, uh, you know, you look at my dad and the way he's been. Uh, my dad's a manly man, you know. I mean, he uh, he hunted fish every weekend still, you know. Um, and uh, he took me, started taking me hunting when I was two years old, took me squirrel hunting for the first time, you know. Um, and he was my coach every every uh, sport I played growing up, but he was also at home uh, helping me with homework every night, you know, and stuff like that. So he did all the stuff that guys want to do, but he was there for the stuff that probably wasn't very much fun, you know. Uh, so uh, I think that's kind of what a, a guy is supposed to be.